Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Thank you so much for all of your support. I greatly appreciate any way you support my channel. Um, those of you that are new, my name is Raquel and I'm going to give you a weekend pile pick for the uh, week of the 11th through the weekend of the 11th through the 13th okay so these are uh general messages please take what resonates with you um the pile that you choose will i what i have found will come true within um you know there's no there's no time sensitive uh things with these piles so this could play out weeks later or this could play out, you know, this weekend. But whatever it is, it's starting this weekend is when the start date is, okay? So whenever you receive this message, go back to the weekend of the 11th through the 13th and see what you were doing that weekend, okay? This is the start date for this, all right? Um, with that being said, I'm gonna pause the camera and I'm gonna move it down so that you can do the pile selection. Okay, so right here we have Rose Quartz. This will be pile one. Right here we have Labordorite. That'll be pile number two. And then we have Amethyst over here. That'll be pile number three. So I want you to take three deep breaths in and out. Um, three times, maybe more. It depends on how long it takes you to get relaxed. Then once you are relaxed and you clear your mind, Ask your angels and your guides which pile should you pick for the weekend of the 11th through the 13th. And then open up your eyes and whatever pile or piles jump out at you, those are the ones you want to watch. There will be timestamps below so you can skip ahead if need be. And I'm going to give everybody just a couple of minutes right now to um, pause the video and to make your selection. Okay, hopefully you have your pile. <laughs> This will be, the, for those of you who picked the Rose Quartz, this pile selection is for you. Um, what's your main energy? What energy you're going to be in this weekend? We have the star. So this is something faded. This could be like a wish fulfillment or you noticing the abundance that is coming in, to, in for you this weekend, okay? So whoever picked this, this could be some type of wish fulfillment coming in for you this weekend or your stars are just aligning and you're feeling, you're feeling um, renewed, hopeful, and rejoiced and replenished, okay? That's what your major energy is. Then we've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is you feeling confident, you feeling um, like you can get stuff done, you can make stuff happen. When anybody asks you to do something, um, it's like you can do it with ease. You're confident in yourself. Um, and then we've got the King of Swords. So this could be somebody in your environment. Okay, or you, they could be the queen of wands, which would be an Aries or another fire sign, or you could be the Aries or another fire sign. You can swap these, these roles around, but since you picked this and this is all about, you know, wish fulfillment and feeling, um, feeling inspired, feeling, um, just more like yourself, I feel like you're the queen of wands. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or another air sign here, but the king of swords is somebody who has the knowledge, has the abundance. You guys could be putting your creative um, minds and ambitions together to create something this weekend. We've got the Three of Cups, which is all about celebration. Um, this is, and, it's, and it is about collaborating too. So this could be you collaborating with another, with an air sign or um, somebody who has knowledge in whatever it is you're trying to create here. All right. Then we've got the third um, 
Archangel Camiel as your energy. Okay, so this is your energy for the weekend. And this is somebody, um, this angel represents your third chakra. So your third chakra, that's all about your creative endeavors, your um, soul self, what you truly want, how you truly, what, you know, what you desire. We got seven and or three and seven, which is 10. So this is about you finally coming full circle and being able to put, um, uh, creativity and, and your, your plans together here. All right. So I want to read an affirmation from this card just so that it can help you throughout the weekend. So let me just, I'm, I'm going to pull out up the book <laughs> and read you the affirmation for this um, card. My third chakra is open. It is perfect health. It's my third chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I radiate a bright and vibrant life force energy. I feel excitement for all that I do. And that's what they're telling you to do here. They're telling you to em embrace that energy. You're feeling bold. You're feeling confident. You're feeling more in yourself. And that's why you are the queen of wands here. All right. So what is this weekend about for you? All in a golden afternoon. Creativity. What was I saying? Okay. Inspiration. Creative spark. Imagination. And conception. This is about you um, uh, working on something creative. Taking on some type of creative plan or creative endeavor. It could be a project that you are starting this weekend. I do see you collaborating with somebody because there is a king of swords right here. Or that could just be your energy is you, you have both those energies. But I really do feel like it's you collaborating with somebody. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. This goes along with the creativity. Okay. So, you know, for some of you, you might be... Um, Getting into that mode where you're confident enough now that you don't need a bunch of people to validate what you like, what you want, what you wish for, what you hope for. Um, but because we got the three of cups here, I feel like it's you collaborating. You collaborating on your own dream. Um, maybe you ask for outside wisdom or outside help. Um, to bring whatever this is that you're dreaming to in fruition. You know, it said your quote is like attracts like. So this is you. Um, yeah, I feel like this is you working with somebody on something that you've been dreaming about doing. And maybe this person has been dreaming about it too, but it's saying to keep it separate. Okay. Yeah. You can collaborate on it, maybe trade ideas. Um, but this is your creative project, okay? This is your dream. Even if they might like it as well, it is your dream, your thing to create, okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to see if I can pull two more tarot cards to sum this up. Let's see. Spirit... My soul family, how do these two people connect right here for the weekend of the 11th through the 13th? What is their connection here? Please and thank you, my soul family. Sorry, I just got done Libra's birthday um, video, so it's like my cards are just, fly. I got the wind going and everything. So we've got the moon in reverse. So this is somebody, maybe this is um, somebody from the past that was hidden for a while that has resurfaced and is going to help you work with on your creative endeavors here. It could be somebody from the past, or it could be somebody that you um, have been talking to but haven't been telling others about. This is somebody that, I'm just going to lay these down because they keep flying everywhere. Um, this is somebody that um, that is now out in the open. This is somebody who has either come out 
or you have revealed to your friends and family this person. Um, it's somebody that is kind of like you. Maybe you both were hiding things for a while and now you're finally like letting it out and letting and speaking to each other and it's like you guys are on the same page. There's no more secrets, nothing kept between you two. You two, everything's out on the open. Every, every card is on the table here. All right, so how does this connect with the King of Swords? How does the Three of Cups connect with the King of Swords? Okay, so we've got the Sun, and then we had another one fly over that way. So the Sun is all about happiness, but hold on. I can't find him now. He, like, hid in my deck again. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I hate when they hide. Come on, come on. Come on, son, come out. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so I grabbed the one that was over there. And um, what I've got here to clarify these two is the sun. And then I've got the king of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like maybe this person isn't very well off. But they are a happy, optimistic person. And it's somebody that you can collaborate with well. Um, now this person, you know, it, they might... You might want to watch your back a little bit with this person. Um, you know, I've, I'm really not getting that because the moon right here with you. I feel like this is just somebody with not a lot of financial backing, but they have a lot of knowledge. They don't have a lot of finances, but they have a lot of knowledge so that they can help you with this. Cre and they're like the perfect ones to help you with this creative endeavor. Okay. So whatever... Um, this weekend, whatever project you start is going to um, start to come to fruition. Use your creative juices. Um, make Remember, this is your dream. Belong to your own dream. Use your own creative um, insights. You create your own life here, okay? So... Yeah, it's good to take his advice, his or her advice. It's good to take his or her advice, but make sure that you're not, um, giving them full credit. Make sure you're putting your spin on their advice. Okay. Make sure you're putting your own little spin on their advice. This is like attracts like, all right. So this person is like you in certain senses. And I feel like this person is just as creative as you, if not, I'm just as passionate about with you or just as passionate as you are about this creative project. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I will see you either in one of the other pile selections or in the next video. Bye. Okay. So this is for all of you who picked the Labordorite. Um, this reading is for you. It's for the weekend of the 11th through the 13th. So let's see what we've got here. All right, so your energy, Nine of Cups, some of you might be feeling a little down, a little um, depressed, a little depleted this weekend, um, not feeling on the up and up. Some of you, your health could be diminished a little bit this um, this weekend. For others of you, it's just a sad time. Um, your cups aren't so full anymore. You're, you're exhausted. You're giving too much of your energy is what I'm picking up. All right, so... This is about moving on. This is what it is for you this weekend. About getting, about um, not wanting to be in this energy anymore and wanting to move forward with your life and put yourself in more positive energy. We've got two of wands, so there needs to be a decision made here. But I feel like it's a hard decision to make. You know what the decision is. You just have to go out and do it. But you're having a hard time doing it because it's not an easy decision to make. Um, we've got the three of pentacles here, so this might indicate that you might need, might need some help on the matter. You might need somebody to either come in and financially back you, or you might need somebody to give you a place to stay, or you might need somebody to um, give you something material. I'm getting materialistic, not so much advice, but you're going to need something um, tangible in order to... Um, 
to escape the situation or move forward from the situation. We've got the thinking man. So this could be um, who comes in with the three of pentacles. Uh, this is supposed to be your energy though this weekend. So um, if you're a man, this is you really um, strategizing, really um, getting your things in order. It might be, if you're a man, it might be easier for you to make this decision that the two of wands is talking about here. Um, if you're a woman, it might be just that you're taking more on that masculine manly quality here and you're thinking more, you're, str you're being strategic about things. Four and six is the end of a cycle. So you're, this is about a cycle ending and cleanse ending and cleansing for you. Okay. Then we've got painting the roses red, covering up errors. Okay. This is the message that is coming out of this weekend. Okay. This is, um, this is you trying to cover up any mistakes. And I feel like this is why you're depleted because any mistakes that you have made in the past, it's like, you're trying to cover them up. You're trying to keep them secret, but it's just draining you. Okay. Um, and you need to move on and move forward. And some of you, that decision that you need to make is spilling the beans, spilling the truth, you know, I made this mistake. I made that mistake. Okay. Give me a break here. All right. Um, but I feel like you're going to be in that energy where you're really contemplating, really thinking about what, what your next move is going to be. How are you going to get yourself out of the situation? And then we've got the quote is forgive yourself is forgive yourself. So many of you, this is about this depletion, this unhappiness is because you cannot forgive yourself. You cannot move on because you can't forgive yourself here. You're going to need to ask, um, for help from others to, um, you know, maybe giving to others. Yeah, I'm getting maybe giving yourself or your service or your support to others. Um, it will help you find your own um, self-worth and realize that people do may mis make mistakes and that people can learn from them. Um, you don't need to cover up your mistakes all the time. Okay. You need to, to let those out. People, everybody makes mistakes. People make mistakes so that we can learn and so that we can grow. All right. So let's break this down further with the tarot. Let's see what's going on. What is influencing? What is in between the chariot, the chariot and the two of wands? What is influencing this? Please. And thank you, my guides. I'm just going to pull two cards to help me break this down further. I really need a bigger table. <clears throat> All right. What is in between? What's influencing this chariot and two of wands? Okay, well, they gave me two. We've got the hangman, so you're going to need to look, um, see things through a different light, through a different perspective, because this is about, okay, so we got the world right there. All right. You're going to need to see things through a different perspective in order to make this decision that you have to make to move on. You don't want to be in this, this draining, this draining energy anymore. So actually like if you look at it as, you know, if I let these mistakes out, if I say I did this, if I say I did that, then yeah, people are going to be mad at me, but it's going to be off my chest. And then, you know, face the consequences. Forgive yourself for them. It was a learning experience, okay? Now, between the two of wands and the three of pentacles, we have the world. Okay, so this is telling me that, you know, because you're, you're doing this, okay, and you're seeing things through a different light and you're thinking about it, you're forgiving yourself, you're not covering up your mistakes, it's like the world is now open to you, okay? You've grown, You've learned, you know, you don't have to cover yourself up anymore. You need to be open, be open to the world. Okay. Be open to the people that are around you, the people that help you, the people that give to you. Okay. 
Um, forgive yourself for any mistakes that you made with them. You know, ask for their forgiveness. Okay. This is the time to do it. Um, I can't tell if they're going to be receptive or not to it, but I can tell you that once you forgive yourself, it's so much easier for people to forgive you. Okay. Because then you're in this, um, healing energy. You're in this positive energy. And I will say that, um, the person that makes the mistake usually doesn't heal first. It's usually the last person to heal. Um, so you need to forgive yourself because once you do that and once you say, yes, I made this, this, and that mistake, nine times out of 10, they probably already know that you've been trying to cover it up. I mean, it's pretty obvious a lot of the times, like when Alice went and she, and she was helping them paint the roses red, it's pretty obvious if you paint white roses that they're painted, you know what I mean? If you paint them red, that they're painted. So, um, nine times out of 10, this person already knows, or these people already know that you've already done this. Um, you didn't do a very good job at covering it up. Okay. Um, but they're, le they're letting you, um, get away with it because they have already done forgiven you for it. So whatever it is, I feel, I feel like you're building it up in your, inside yourself way more than it needs to be. And you need to forgive yourself. You need to let go. You need to let go of that pain because all it's doing is emotionally draining you. Okay. Don't cover it up deep down inside yourself either. Be honest with yourself. Okay. On what you did and then watch the world open up for you. Okay. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you pick the other, the last pile, then I will see you in that video. If not, I wish you all the very best, um, weekend this weekend. Bye. For those of you who picked pile three, the amethyst pile, this is your weekend reading. All right. So let's get to it. Hold on. I'm going to move these around a little bit. Okay. Let's see. I just got to see which way. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so the High Priestess. This is the energy that you're going to be in this week. This is the overall energy of your reading. So a lot of you are going to be using your intuition a little bit more. And, you know, with the Aries full moon coming up this weekend, it doesn't surprise me if a lot of you pick this pile. Um, this is all about using your intuition, making choices, making decisions this weekend based on your intuition. Okay. Alrighty, so what do we got here? We've got the three of wands in reverse. So this isn't you waiting for something. This is you going full steam into something. You following your dream. You're following that intuition. You not worried about the paycheck. You not worried about ships coming in. You just going along with your passion and your desire without, without, you know, begging for reward. Um, we've got seven of cups here in reverse. So a lot of you are coming out of a confused time. Um, maybe your intuition is working a little bit more now so that you're not as confused as you were in past, um, things. And then we've got the tower in reverse. So there's been some type of, um, main event avoided here or main, main, catastrophe avoided here or a disaster avoided here. Um, there's been some type of avoidance of disaster, but I feel like you see things clearly now. And I feel like if you hadn't seen things clearly, if you were in that seven of cups energy like that, I feel like that would end up like that. So the fact that you can see things clearly, it like keeps you away and you, because you're using your intuition, um, I feel like you're avoiding a disaster because you're seeing the truth and you're not being competitive against, against, um, lies here, if that makes sense. All right. So your energy, why is this all upside down? All right. Your energy is the garden and the gate. So this is you seeing beyond um, where you're at in your own happiness right now and seeing a more happier, stable future beyond those garden gates. But for whatever reason, whatever those gates symbolize to you, 
It's like you're having a hard time moving past them. You want to be where you're at right now. You don't want to move forward. You don't want to, you, you don't want to move forward on to better pastures because you're happy with where you are right now. And that's what's telling, that's what the three of wands is telling me about as well. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Okay. There's no need to fear this. You can move on. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think these were supposed to go like this. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to go like that. See, that's the thing with pile picks. And no, that was the right way because it was crossed. Um, now, you know, if I read it like that, it makes sense. Okay, so the three of wands like that, the seven of cups like that, and the tower like that, there is going to be some type of tower moment here because you're not seeing things clearly. You need to use your intuition. Um, I feel like it's because you want things to come in for you, but they're not coming in right yet because you need to put more effort into them. But I feel like you don't see where to put that effort in at with the garden in the gate. It's like you can see the ships beyond there and you want that. You know what I mean? You want that, but there's something, some type of confusion standing in your way here. You don't know how to unlock that gate. You don't know how to reach the, the, the field beyond. Okay. And I feel like in order for that gate to unlock, you're going to have to have this tower moment. That way you can be set free and be in the land of abundance. That's why there is this card right here saying no need to fear. Um, remember how peaceful, how powerful you are. Okay. You don't give into temptation. You go with the, you go with what needs to be go gone with. You step up to the plate and you move forward. All right. Don't fear this tower moment or what might happen this weekend because it's going to lift that confusion and it's going to help you unlock that garden gate. It's going to help you go off into a better, um, thing of happiness. It says express, express yourself. Okay. Express your feelings here. Express your intuitive and your intuitive thoughts. Okay. This is going to help clear things up for you. All right. This is going to help. I feel like this is going to help the tower moment. Death is an illusion. So if this is like a death or a breakdown of like, um, of like a marriage or a relationship or something like that. Cause with the express your feelings and the death is an illusion type thing. I feel like for some of you, um, this might be a relationship thing and it might be you getting ready or getting yourself ready to walk away from a relationship. Um, but I feel like this is going to be like a necessary change and you know, it, not all relationships stay dead forever. So just remember that there's no need to fear here and death is not an illusion. Not all relationships stay dead forever. Okay. Um, so for those of you who picked this, I am so sorry, but you know, look at the field behind this. It's like, once you get through this tower moment, once you get through this tower moment, you're going to be a lot more happier on the other side. Okay. Of it. There's going to be no more confusion for you. Only happiness. This is how you get your ships to come in. Okay. Use your intuition here and express your feelings. All right. Well, if that resonated with you, please let me know. I wish you all a very blessed weekend. And let's hope that this tower moment isn't something extremely, ex extremely extravagant. But, you know, we have these tower moments to move on, move forward. And there's always something good that comes out of everything bad. Okay? Well, you guys take care this weekend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.